Good morning, friends. Cheryl here with Inked Pulp, and it's time for Art Before Breakfast. So if you're new with us, uh, let me first of all say welcome. We are a very interactive group. We have a lot of fun, make things together as a group, and we really have a lot of fun. So I hope if you're new here, you'll settle back, join in the fun, and um, if you like what you see, that you will subscribe and come back and become a regular. If you are a regular and you're returning, welcome, welcome, welcome. I appreciate you. You know that. Love you all. And even if you're a regular who kind of sits up in the balcony and watches, I still appreciate you. I know some people do that. Even some of the regulars, sometimes they've told me that Sometimes they're just not in a talkative mood in the morning, but they still log on and they just watch from the balcony. So, um, well, hello, Cheryl. You're the first one here. So I want to, um, well, maybe I'll wait till more people get in because I finished these up and I made another one of these. So I'll wait till more people come in and I'll go over these. Um, but what I thought I would do today... Um, I know I said viewer's choice, so if there's a different project, I'm open for that. But I had to make a little envelope for a project. And I thought, you know, I don't have a lot of these little envelopes. So I thought, well, maybe, maybe we can, so let me adjust this a little bit. Um, maybe we can make up a bunch of varying sizes of little envelopes so I can use them as tucks and then we can decorate the fronts and I can use them as tucks. And so I thought maybe we could use, do a mass make today and I've got all of these paper scraps. I've got all of these paper scraps and these are actually napkins. Um, but we can use those to put on the front. So plenty of scraps to make little envelopes. Does that sound like a good plan or shall we do something else? I've got this little envelope too and it got some good idea. Okay, we'll just make little bitty envelopes and decorate them. So I've got this one and it got something on it and then it's kind of stained but it's a little like coin envelope and I thought we could decorate this one too so that's kind of going to be my plan today real simple envelopes too I'm not going to make anything fancy I need to get this I thought I had clipped this down, but let me do this instead. I want to clip that so it stays down. All right. So we can just start with this little one. I had a longer piece. Well, I'll show you the... Uh, it was for this card that we made yesterday. We wanted to have a hidden tuck spot and so that's the front and I did this have you ever done this Cheryl where you do the masking technique like I stamped the butterfly and then I cut out one of the butterflies I don't know what I did with it it was just sitting here on my desk there it is I cut out the bottom part to put down as a mask and then I stamp my other stamp on it so it looks like it's coming from behind. So I did that and then just a little flap and then a little piece of writing paper on the inside. Yeah, I know that's a fun technique. We might do some more of that. And then on this little piece of paper, I just made it kind of a long writing spot but I stamped a little, um, they're very faint. It's, there's three little hearts and then it says love. So 
So, and then I left, when I folded it up, I left a little bit of a top up there so you could grab it and pull it out. So that was the envelope I made and it was so easy. Good morning, Marie. So we'll um, go over that once we get more people in here and I'll show you guys what I did from yesterday. So instead of viewer's choice, unless somebody has another idea. So what I was saying, Marie, is that I thought I might just make a whole bunch of little envelopes, different sizes, and um, have them ready. And then we can decorate them and then have them ready to put in projects if we need a little envelope with a little bit of writing paper in it. So that was my plan, unless somebody had a different idea. So what do you think, Marie? Do you have... You want to do that idea? Okay. Oh, somebody's giving us some hearts. I guess that's Marie. All right. Well, let's get started then. And because these are so little, I definitely want to um, use the tape because I don't want to take up any of the inside so I'm just going to go around, ink the edges, and then we'll do some in different types of paper. I just happen to have this one left over from what I did yesterday. So we'll start with this one. And I actually have kind of a fun idea for this one. And before I ink that up, I'll show you what I do here. Um, I'm sure, Cheryl, you've seen this. I don't know, Marie, if you have, but I don't crease it. I'm folding the envelope in half, and then I'm grabbing some scissors, and I'm just rounding that edge so that they're the same on both sides. Hi, Pam. It's so nice to see you coming back in here. So now we have a nice rounded envelope. And if I made the flap longer, I could have pointed it. Yeah, isn't that a good idea? Because then they match. Each side is the same. And we didn't fold it far enough to make a crease. So these are so easy to make. Now, again, I'm going to use my tape. And tape it down. You know, it's funny because each type of adhesive, whether it's paint or, or not paint, tape or glue stick or Fabri-Tac or, you know, whatever it is, they all have their place. And for envelopes like this and tuck spots and things like that, I just like using the tape because then I am sure that it's not going to interfere. So there we go. Just like that, we have a little envelope. Now, I have... Isn't that cute? Going across there. And I could, I'm, I'm thinking, um, oh, hi, Lori B. I could take some blue, like a lighter blue. And just put a little with the brown. I love blue and brown together. How you doing, Lori B? There. I'm just 
just put that like that. Oops, need a little more right here. What do you guys think of that? It's got a little blue on the bottom. You guys like? A cool hand turned inker handle. Oh, yeah, I know they're real. Um, kind of wide they really fit in your palm nicely I think I've seen those and I was thinking that someday I might like to buy one and have it I haven't done it yet but so let's just put a little bit of this across here and then we could put some little half pearls in there or you know I probably will just oh hi Jen Oh, I feel so good. All of our regulars are coming back again. People have been on cruises and... Uh... Yeah, I probably should try one, at least for like the vintage photo. You know, one of the colors that you use a lot. Okay, seems like it still needs a little bit something more. And I have a thought, not those, those are too big, but I think I have some, I have some of these little flowers. Yeah, your vintage photo. Um, I'm actually heading to Cincinnati. <laughs> well, hopefully this stuff has given you guys ideas on... Some things that you can do. What do you guys think of that? What do you think of that? Okay, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. What do you guys think of that? You like? I like it too. Well, for me, I use the ink dob the finger daubers, and so I have a box that they go in. Um, I don't know. about those ones with the long handle. Cheryl, how do you store yours? Whoops, I hit that camera, but it doesn't look like I moved it. All right. 
There's a little envelope. You'd almost think that this is the flap that comes up, but it's not. We could stick something under there. So that could end up becoming a tuck spot for something like this that says secret garden. And you could like tuck that up under there, but the envelope um, flap is back here. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, I didn't tack that down. So that could be a tuck spot. All right, there's one done. Let's do some more. Those are so much fun. I'd love to have a bunch of different sizes. Um, yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I got it a little, a little too aggressive with the glue there. And that's why I don't like putting glue on envelopes because it spreads out. How about if we do this one? It's another blue one. And by the way, I'm still loving my ink holder, everything. I mean, I know where to find stuff. I usually leave my ink um, or my vintage photo out, but all the rest of them... I have in that with the names sticking out. All right, I'm going to put some inking around this one. And I am thinking Oh, this has got a little postmark on the back. I don't know where I got these little envelopes from. It's one of the stores, Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere. They must have been on sale because I probably wouldn't have bought these if they weren't on sale. Hey, Big Mama. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've got some little plastic cups that I purchased that hang on the wall beside me. And um, I love it because they're up off the table. Come on. There. All right. So what shall we do on the front of this thing? I have a couple of ideas. Um, we could put down like some music paper that goes all the way on the front. So then when you fold it down, you'd see a little bit of the music. And then we could put something over the music. Hi, Susan. Art glitter glue. Oh, I've never known art glitter glue to do that. Um, some of that Cheryl, Crafty Shamrock, um, she pretty much uses all art glitter glue. I've had Fabertac do that. Um and it's because of the air that gets trapped in there. Um, and usually what I do, I don't always remember to do it, but if when I turn my thing upside down, if I just give it a couple of taps, then it, uh, it doesn't do that. But I've never had, I don't 
I haven't used art glitter glue in a while though. All right. Have you had that happen, Cheryl? I've never seen it. Um, I know it's your favorite. That's why I say you'd probably be the best one to answer that question because you use it so much. I don't know if other people do too, but I've never seen anyone have that problem on any video that I've watched. There we go. And I forgot to ink. The very inside. So now that we've got some folks here, let me show you too what I did yesterday, what I finished up. All right. Oh, that did a crack, which is fine by me. Maybe we'll put a little skinny washi tape over that. But there it is. And... And then we turn it over and it's got the music paper and then the blue. And I'm not going to put music paper on the inside. I just don't feel like doing that. Let's see if I have a really skinny, skinny washi tape. I know I do have some. Hang on, let me look over here. There we go. And I think I see just the one I want. Okay, so at the top of this, I've got A, which is like a burlap-y kind of texture, but with blue. I have B, which is kind of a watery texture, and then I have C, which is the diamonds on white. Which one should I use, A, B, or C? And I'm going to put it right across the top here to cover up that crack. C. B. Okay, what do the rest of you think? Marie, what do you think? C. Okay, I got two C's and a B. Marie, what do you think? Um, Pam, what do you think? Jen, oh, she popped off. Um, Lori B, what do you think? Two, three, four. Okay, everybody likes C. Isn't that funny? Because that is like my least favorite. Only because it's white on, and maybe that's what you guys like about it is the contrast. But it's so funny how that goes in this group because sometimes the things that I like the least, you guys like the most. And that's why I love crafting with you. And I can't fold it in because, oops, yeah, I just thought it was um, so bright on there. But you know, once you get it on, the, the color, the brown color kind of shines because it is washi tape. So it's somewhat transparent. And this paper is just like cracking off, but that's okay because it's leaving like little, a little blue spot right there. Whoops. All 
Okay, so on the front you don't really see it much, but on the back you do. Now I could put another strip of that Maybe we'll do that. And just put another one right underneath it so we have a little more on the front. There. And then you guys know what I'm going to do with these little pieces. All right. Okay, so here's this. And I like this little bit of um, blue showing through over here at the side. And we'll ink it up. And then what else should we put on the front? I was thinking maybe some Timmy people, like sitting on this musical bar here. Get some of those little, little people. Let's get a little person out. Let's see medium and they're small. All right. I need a really small one. It's still too tall. Oh, here we go. But then her feet hang off. Good night. Oh, here's a little. No, she's still too tall. Maybe we're going to have to put like a flower or something on here because, oh, she fits. Okay. She fits. And the little boy with the dog fits. Okay, we got a couple choices. we got to have really tiny. Are there mini people in addition? These are small, but maybe these are the mini people that I have. I kind of like the little boy with the dog, but let's see what everybody else thinks. Um, yeah, I just worry about that stuff getting bent. You know, like if you put a... There are many, so maybe what I have is not the mini. Those ladies would fit as well. I think they might look a little too crowded on there. We'll see. Oh. Mm, she's a little bit small on there. We'd need something else, but we could put something else with her. Okay, here are our choices. We have A. We could put her over to the side and put something else out beside her. So that's A. Let me zoom in for you. Okay. There's A. And, you know, flower or something else beside her. That's A. Here is B. I love her. There's B. Oh, butterfly wings. Yes, we could do that. There's C. I think those are just too crowded on there. I'm going to take that out up. So we have A and B. And then C is the little boy with the dog. Okay, you guys. I know what my favorite is. You tell me, A, B, or C.
Big Mama likes to see the little boy. Pam likes B. Hi, Dusty. Have another one for C, the little boy and the dog. Dogs win every time. <laughs> C, C, yep. Most people are going for C, so that's what we'll do. We'll go with C. I like that was my favorite too. So I guess I need to order some mini people. And I don't think we need anything else but him on here. Let's get some of these white edges. All right. And there we go. And I think that makes a cute little envelope. The dog is sick. Boy, you and Cheryl, her dog is always getting sick. But that's a known thing. A nervous stomach, she calls it. Or the vet calls it. We'll have him. Okay, turn him upside down. Aww, look at that. I kind of feel like it needs a little something right at the top. And I'm not sure what that would be. I don't know if it's a... So I've got some really tiny, tiny words in here. Maybe a little tiny, tiny, whoops. I have this one that says sweet. We could put up there. Sweet little boy and his dog. A cat teasing him. I don't have any cats. I need to probably get some. I'm not a huge cat for person. Hi, April. Hey, thumbs up, everybody. If you're... I have this one that says just do it, but that might over... Just be you if I cut it down. Oops. I can never cut these things straight. I don't know how people do it. Just be you at the top. That might be too much. Let me cut down. <laughs> I don't dislike cats, Susan, but they're not my favorite. I'm, I'm more of a dog person. I had a cat once upon a time. Many, many, many years ago. How about just sweet up there? Like this sweet little boy. The word fetch. I don't have fetch. I don't have that word.
maybe over on that side. Woof, I don't have that either. I have that sweet little dog and his boy. I'm going to go with this, and then if I find something else better, like I like fetch, that's a good choice. Oh, friends would be good too. They're best friends. I don't know if I have a little friends in here. Or I don't have to put a word. I could put like just a little label thing up there. There's one that says number 19. Well, maybe I like that better than the word. What do you guys think about that? What do you think about just a little piece of ephemera? Not that one. Hey, Marty. Okay. What do you think about a little piece of ephemera? I like this one best because it's smaller. A little piece of ephemera or the word sweet. Or both. I think both is too much. I think it crowds him up there. Love, trust. Yeah, I don't, I just don't know what I have in the little. I have faith. Um, I have enough. I have worth it. It's funny, you have all these words in here and not the one you want. I have this one that says blessed. Oh, there's trust. It's a little bit bigger, but I do have trust. I have simple things up there. Um, bite me. Ah, 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 ah. Bite me. You guys are too much. Now, hey Mimi. Oh, look at here. I have this one that just says this. This, a boy and his dog. I like that. There's one that's truth. We're making little bitty envelopes. And we're kind of stuck on the word for this one. Love. Here's fearless. These are my little bitty. Oh, look at this one says together. Maybe that's got to be it. 
What do you guys think? Okay, did you all see a word here that you like? I really like together. Yep, I think together is the word that we need to use. Oops. All right, let's ink her up. <laughs> Dog and boy. Yep. Come together right now over me. All right. We put it on that side. Okay, there's the left. And there's the right. And I think either one or we could put it down here by their feet. Almost like that. What do you think about that? Okay, so here's what we have. Across the legs, together, we have upper left, or upper right. I'm not sure about the upper ones. I like it. Yeah, I like it on the legs, too. Okay, legs left or right? There's left. Too many questions for you guys today. And there's right. I'm trying to decide which ones I like better. Um, I kind of like it on the left. I mean, on the right. Left. Over here. Either one really is good. Left, left. We've already got two for left. So let's just put it on the left. Then we'll have another one done. And then I'll show you what I worked on yesterday. Left, right, left. Left, right, left, right, left. My dad was in the army. He was a drill sergeant for a while, which kind of fits his personality really well. He likes to be in charge. All right, there we go. There is envelope number two. Phew, that one took a while. Flashbacks, I know. So there's the two little envelopes that we did, we've did. we done so far. Aren't those cute? And then that's blue on the back. And we have this one. So let's take a look at what I finished up from yesterday. So this is what gave me the inspiration to do the envelopes. So we had all of this done, but we wanted to put, this was a tuck spot. And so I made this little envelope with the butterfly and the other stamp. And this is on texture or, you know, copy dyed paper. And you open it up and then inside there's a little pink writing pad, a writing um, piece. And then it's got a little love and three little hearts down there at the bottom. All the little details. 
And then that, that's what made me think I need to have more of these little envelopes laying around. Push-ups. Uh, uh. Wendy! Wendy, Wendy, we haven't seen you for a while. So that's the envelope that I made to go in here. And it can go in either way. It's kind of hidden, but not all the way because, I mean, you got to know it's there, right? And then this one, the only thing I did on this one was I put the antenna on. And I ended up just using thread. And what I did is I like doubled it. So it was like four or quadruple, quadrupled it. Um, there were four strands. And then I put some glue, just some white tacky glue. And I um, twisted it. I twisted the thread so that it um, stayed together. And then I glued it underneath the body. So that's that one. And yeah, I, I like the thread look under there. And then I had, remember I had one more of these cards, <clears throat> but we didn't get to it. So this is what I made here. This is a little hanging cluster. We did these together. It's got lace, paper, this kind of netting fabric, and then another piece of lace, and then a um, button on a bulb pin. So I did that, and then I took, this is just a Tim Holtz piece. It was just a like postcard. I did stamp on it, so it had some writing. And then I made it into a pocket with a little, um, what are these little calling cards <clears throat> inside of there? And then a butterfly. Oh, 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 I'm out of frame. Let me zoom out a little here. Um, so I had the postcard, the little calling card. And then I have a butterfly. And then down here, um, I had this piece. And I put a couple little pieces of Timmy ephemera right behind it. <clears throat> so this, I finished up this one yesterday. All by myself, you guys. Do you approve? I really like it. I like all of those. Yay. Yeah, I like the hidden stuff too. They're, they're fun. But yeah, those will be fun ephemera. All right, back to making envelopes. Let's make one a little bit. So we could use this. This isn't bigger, but you see how it's got the torn edge over here? That would be really cool. Stamp of approval. Yay. Okay, so we have this and it's already got some I'm, um, I need to see a Timmy person with wings. Oh, okay. Well, it's not going to work on this one. Let's do a bigger one. just have this be a torn edge all the way 
across the bottom. I believe I can touch the sky. <sighs> All right, so there's that. And then she's too big. I know we have some smaller ones in here. Too tall. Too tall. We've got some in here. Never fear. She's way too little for that piece. I could do a we could put wings on her or it's another one with a dog. She's probably too little. I like the size of her. Although now she would be cool with wings. And she would be cool with wings. She might be too pale. Too small too. Make it a fat chubby little girl with short stubby legs. <laughs> Butterfly Well, I am somewhat limited in the pieces that I have. Okay, here's what we have. I have her A, and I would need to cut out a little bit more of her hair up there. Okay, I have A, I have B, and I have C. Okay, A, B, or C. <laughs> oh, thank you, Marie. We try. I like to make everybody happy. So I can glue this over here and then fold it down and then cut off. And then just same thing at the bottom. Okay, A, B, or C. You guys tell me which one. A, K. Yes, if you, oh yeah, for those of you who are new, Papered Rooster is Wendy. She is one of our regulars. We haven't seen her in a little while, but I'm guessing she's probably just been really busy. We have A and three Bs. Okay, it looks like B it is. All right, now let's pick out some wings. What, Big Mama's coffee buzzing? this. Now I happen to have this butterfly right here on my desk. Do you like the color? Now I'll have to cut it down a little, cut them in half and move them out a little. They're not in the right place, but I'm looking right now for color. 
Do you guys like that? Yay or nay? Do you like that for a color? Let me get out my book. Okay. Put it back where it should be. Imagine that. I don't see it. I'm filling it up with stuff. There it is. Yes, 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 love it. Okay. And I do have some other ones. Let me see what else I have. I kind of like that yellow with that. There's another one that has more dark that would kind of fit with her. Oh, that's pretty too. So I'm going to give you guys a couple of choices. Here's one with really pretty wings. No, I don't like that. Doesn't look enough like butterfly wings without the whole thing there. All right, so it looks like We've got a couple. All right. The darker one, the darker one. Yeah, I think so too. And I almost don't need to cut them down, but I do need to get this white off of here because we're not going to need this. All right. All right, what do you think about that? Now we're going to need something for her to stand on. Hey, Bonnie. Off of her head? Oh, okay. Well, let's... Let's kind of get it laid out here. Well, we can go ahead and glue on... Ooh, I like that position right there. And then I can make the other one match. Come on. Come on up. I like it right there. Yeah, we've got the butterfly wings. This one keeps sliding around. Okay, let's just put glue across the back. I had them in a spot that I like, but I'm sure I can reproduce it. Yep, I like that. Okay, I'm trying to get it positioned just right so they're even and okay what about that does that work 
And then we'll put some of that black thread behind her head. Oh, I forgot to ink her up to get rid of the white before I put the wings on, but that's all right. What fun envelopes these will be to use in a in a journal. Stole the coffee. Huh? I was just catching up on chat. All right, do those wings look right? Got an extra piece of paper sticking out there. All right, do those wings look okay? Now, what I can do is take some. I thought I had some wood grain, and I can cut strips and make like a wood grain porch or something for her to stand on. Hmm. Let's see what I've got in here. And she's not glued down yet, so she's movable. Yeah, somebody specifically asked for that. Now, what I could do is some little pieces here. Give her a cloud. Did, did you watch my Marguerite Miller um, video where I made the clouds? Marty, is that is that what you're referring to? All right, so what I was thinking here is that maybe we could put if we inked these up, all photos are in the cloud. All right, so if we inked these up and had that like a little overlapping thing for her to stand on, what do you guys think about that? She does need something to stand on. So let's down there. And I'm getting all quiet again. Let's move that up. All photos are in the cloud. You know, when I was leaving the IT world, the cl whole cloud idea was just taking off. And people were just so enthralled by it. Okay, if we put one there, one there. Okay. 
I would be so, I'm back, pesky laundry and lunch, don't know why my family. Yeah, what's with that? Do we need to have a talk with your family? Do we need to bring them on here and tell them that during art before breakfast, they are like the lowest priority for you? Because you've got to be in art before breakfast. And then after that, they can be top of the heap. Okay, what do you guys think about something like that? Oh, oh no. And then we could put her standing on there. What do you guys think about that? Cool? Okay, I'm going to do it. Because it's something different, and I like something different. Yeah, I hate having to board our dog. We haven't had to do that in a long time. We prefer to take her. Oh, you know what? Before I put that down, I need... Fold it up for the bottom, and then we can, you know, cut it and make it sit flatter. And then we need to fold it for the top. And I hope this doesn't make this too short for her now. I hope. She is just right. For that. Okay. So I'm going to put this down here and I know I almost forgot to do that. That would have been a disaster. All right. All right. Now, huh? And I didn't put the, I didn't put the paper down low enough. It's okay. I can fix that. I can fix that. Or, you know what else I could do? I could leave that book page. Nope, she has to go right down to the bottom. right to the bottom. Let me see what else I have up here. I know that I have some stuff that I could use. That is not a word. I've got... these. Okay. I've got, I don't know what that says, for the, I don't know. That's not what I want down there though. Oh, here's one with blue. It's too long. like that word. Uh, 
I'm looking, you guys. I'm looking, 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 looking. Ooh, how about this? 1761. What do you guys think of that? And put her on that. I kind of like it. Hope your appointment goes well, Wendy. I need to catch up with you again, see how you're doing. We haven't talked in a while. So you guys, I get to go see my doctor tomorrow with all of my wonderful test results. So I'm very excited about that. Tammy, I don't think I said hello to you when you came in. Seventeen sixty one, and then we can just let her feet go. There we go. All right, let's put her down. Oh, we wanted to put some, we're not going to be able to put thread behind her head because her head now comes to the very top. So that idea is out of the question. So we'll put, actually, before we put her down, let's do... Yeah, this is the bottom. And then let's cut this. Let's cut this across here. So there's our flap. And then we'll do the same thing. Down here. We'll cut this extra bulk out. Now, I have this as a torn edge, and I'd like to accentuate that a little bit. So... And this didn't get cut quite flush across the top. So we'll just cut that even. Whoops, that goes that way. And let's just ink up all these little edges here, and then we'll glue it all together 
and it'll be just about time to look at what we've completed and wrap it up. So what's everybody got planned for today? Anything exciting? Let's see, what am I doing? Oh, I've got to wrap up that um, book for Marie, Maria, um, The Celebration of Life. And I'm just about done. I am just about done with it. I kind of went in a different direction. Well, some things are different. Some are the same from what we had started, but you guys will see. I'll show you. I'm actually really pleased with it. I think she will like it. Um, cleaning three bathrooms. Ugh. I'm not a clean the bathrooms kind of gal. I don't enjoy that at all. Not at all. work I know I hate I really miss the days when I don't miss the corporate job I don't I don't miss working the nine to five thing but I miss being able to afford to have a housekeeper house cleaner so I had a cleaning team and um, it was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, they probably do, Big Mama. Okay, there's that. There's that. And then I'm also going to put oh, criminy. That's not what I wanted to do. I peeled that tape right up. So that means I probably need to put a different piece on. Um, and then I'm going to put glue stick on this, just this side, on top of the tape. Oh, that's nice that he would vacuum. Did you tell him that Mr. Pulp vacuums? Is that how you got him to? This doesn't go. This doesn't go here. I did that wrong. It needs to go this way. At least I'm catching my mistakes before I do them today. Yeah, mine vacuums too. My husband, you know, I told you guys, he officially retired um, on Monday of this past week. And he was so funny. Today, he asked me, he says... I don't have to well first he said I don't have to go to work today and I said I know that he says how do you do it like how do you get up every day and not have to go to work and I said well I do work I work downstairs and I do stuff and I can and I garden and I I mean I do other stuff and he's just like, oh, he's just loving this, getting up and not having to, the lines in the carpet. I know. And then the first time you, um, the first time you do walk on it and you get those footprints. I like, if I'm going to walk on it, I do it in my bare feet. So I get true footprints in the carpet.
Okay, and then I'm going to put a little glue stick as well. <laughs> well, we have an agreement in my house. So my hubby has his bathroom is down here in the basement. It's the, the third bathroom in the house. And now I probably need to put a divot in there, but I'm not going to worry about that for right now. All right, we've got... So hubby cleans his own bathroom. I clean the one that I use. I use the master bath. And then I like it a lot, you guys. What a great idea. You guys are so good. Let's see. Let's put this down because I've got all different textures back here. Um, and then we both kind of clean the spare bathroom, which we both use. We see it's dirty. We'll clean it. Yeah, they do. I need to make a bunch more, but this will get me started. They're fun to tuck in. You know who's really good about tucking things in is uh, Big Mama. She has all these little hidden envelopes and letters, and she does a lot of that in her journals. All right, let's get this on here. Boy, I just made it with that um, envelope size-wise after I... All the way down. There we go. She's sticking up just a hair. I'm going to actually cut that little tiny tip off because I don't want it to bend. And you'll never notice that on her head. You'll never notice that it's gone unless you saw me do it. All right, there's that one. Yes, Daisy has a ton. All right, ladies. So here's what we've done today. For those who just came in and didn't see the first couple, we did three envelopes. We I started with this one. That's just a little paper, you know, envelope. And it does have this extra... Um, flap here so you could use that as a tuck spot and then I colored it it's blue at the bottom and then the brown natural color at the top so you could use that as a oh here's those envelopes that I got where did they come from DCWV I don't this might have been these are all airmail envelopes this might have been um michael's or i don't know i guess it could have been joanne's or hobby lobby too um but i was gonna show you guys like here's a little piece of something you could stick that in there as a little tuck spot okay so that one we made this one is the little boy and his dog together. And then on the back, it's got this little, you know, pocket area. And it is blue on the back until you fold down the flap. And then it's got the music. Okay, so we've got that envelope. 
And then we have the one that we just made that's a little bit bigger and is more like a coin envelope. All right, yes or no, because this is cut right down to here. So I could either cut like a, you know, or I could punch out like a little semicircle or just a little notch here or just leave it. What do you guys think I should do on the back of this? I'm not sure. But anyway, those are the three envelopes that we did today. And we're at an hour and 26 minutes. So we're just about time to finish up. Curve it. Okay. I'll do that. I'll do it offline. I'm not going to do it now. But um, I've got a great big um, oval hole punch that I think I could get in there and just punch it so it comes out. Or if I have a big circle that I could just put in part way. We'll see. Or I'll just cut it. All right. Well, there we go, folks. There is to their little. They don't, they're not huge, but wouldn't those all three be just the cutest? I know. I love all three, too. There we go. Wouldn't they just, they all have blue in them. Look at that. I must have been in a blue mood today, but in a positive blue mood, not like a sad blue mood. Not a huge one, yeah. Yes, hit the thumbs up, everyone, if you haven't already. I appreciate it. And then I've got a couple of other little pieces cut out. Like I've got this one. I thought I had one more. So I'll probably go ahead and finish that. But yeah, cute, aren't they? Hi, KK. Let me see where you came in. Stitch a pen, stitch a pen. There she is. It's good to have you back, KK. We've missed you. So there we go. Some little envelopes. And thanks for the request for the wings, because I think that that's just adorable with her with her wings on her a timmy person with wings all right everybody you guys have a wonderful day i love you bunches thumbs up if you haven't please oh i haven't there we go um and i will see you friday um i know i do too cheryl i love those too little tiny envelopes um I will see you on Friday. I'll see you at Penny's tomorrow and then back here on Friday. All righty, folks. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you Friday. Bye.